దీపం జ్యోతి పరబ్రహ్మ దీపం జ్యోతి మహేశ్వర దీపం సాజతే సర్వం సంధ్యాదోప నమోస్తే దిస్ ఈజ్ వాట్ దీపం ఈజ్ లైటింగ్ ఈజ్ అవర్ ప్రొటెక్టర్ దట్స్ వాట్ వీ బిలీవ్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ దాట్ వెన్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ టు ద ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఇట్ ఎమినేట్స్ నాలెడ్జ్ లైక్ లైట్ ఎలిమినేట్స్ ద డార్క్నెస్ ద నాలెడ్జ్ ఎమినేటెడ్ ఆర్ ఎక్వైర్ హియర్ ఇట్ విల్ ఎలిమినేట్ ద ఇగ్నోరెన్స్ విత్ ఇస్ విత్ యూ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ అవర్ కల్చర్ టు హ్యావ్ లైటింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద ల్యాంప్ బై అవర్ డిగ్నటరీస్ నావ్ ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ ద డిగ్నటరీస్ రాజారాం పతీత పావన సీతారాం ఈశ్వరాల్లా తేరేనాం సబ్కో సన్మతి దే భగవాన్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ప్రీచ్ అండ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ బై అవర్ ఫాదర్ ఆఫ్ నేషన్ మహాత్మా గాంధీ టుడే వీ హ్యావ్ విత్ అస్ డిస్టింగ్విష్ చీఫ్ గెస్ట్ అవర్ ఆనరబుల్ గవర్నర్ శ్రీ అబ్దుల్ నజీర్ గారు ఈజ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ జూరీ హూ గేవ్ ఎమికబుల్ జడ్జ్మెంట్ అండ్ ఎనేబుల్ దర్శన్ ఆఫ్ అయోధ్య రామ who is assigned by the characteristics of an ideal person i request the entire audience to give a standing standing ovation as a mark of gratitude for his noble task it's truly a red letter day in the jannai of danekula institute i respect the dignitaries on the dais his excellency honorable governor of andhra pradesh sri abdul najir gar justice jasti chalameshwar farmer judge of supreme court of india professor cvr prasad raj garu vice chancellor jntuk kakinada shri neer jandlar chief executive officer bronix engineering limited israel శ్రీ ధనేకుల రవీంద్రనాథ్ ఠాగూర్ చైర్మన్ ధనేకుల వెంకట సుబ్బయ్య చారిటబుల్ ట్రస్ట్ అండ్ ఫౌండర్ ఆఫ్ ధనేకుల ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ శ్రీ ధనేకుల భవానీ ప్రసాద్ సెక్రటరీ అండ్ కరెస్పాండెంట్ ధనేకుల ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ద గెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద డయాస్ పేరెంట్స్ మీడియా అండ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్వైటీస్ ఆన్ బిహాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ది మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ అండ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ కాలేజ్ ఐ ఎక్స్టెండ్ మై గ్రీటింగ్స్ టు ఆల్ అండ్ ఎ వామ్ వెల్కమ్ to the inaugural of drone research and development center and annual day of diet and merit award ceremony first and foremost i thank his excellency honorable governor of andhra pradesh shri s abdul najir for his time and concern to grace his occasion sir really we are honored to have you sir before moving on to the actual proceedings i would like to give a brief of the college Danekula Institute of Engineering and Technology was established in 2009 with a vision to pioneering professional quality education having an intake of 720 students every year and total strength of 2863 students in campus and spread across 6 lakh square 6 lakh square feet built up area under the leadership of our beloved chairman Sri Danekula Ravindranath Tagore garu the college has created congenial learning environment with state of the art facilities to ensure holistic development at danekula we are determined in bringing out the best in all students molding the students as proficient and socially responsible engineering personnel with ingenious intellect <coughs> our quality policy is to make this college a center of excellence with quality infrastructure imparting value based education on par with international standards by adopting modern training methodologies and fulfilling the expectation of students and parents towards continual improvement in education and placement to achieve academic excellence and to cultivate the r&d 
the college associates with other premier organizations being a part of various skill development activities with andhra pradesh state skill development corporation dasal systems varakal university amazon web services academy of vm where it academy microchip academy and red hat iit bombay spoken tutorial and aicte edu skills etc moe with pioneers like bharat electronics limited bangalore u lab systems california to promote industry academy relations and with infosys springboard moe with university of silicon andhra for collaborative ms programs also was initiated and now this moment we are celebrating the partnership with dronix engineering limited israel establishing an r&d center focused on drone systems at our institute our governor has just inaugurated drone center at the third floor with his golden hands dronix is a renowned israeli drone manufacturer specialized in high end drone design and development provides outstanding solutions to customers the joint venture between dronix and dite manifests the power of collaboration and innovation in the deepest sense it has the potential to create a unique ecosystem with core foundations in the indian tech education and the local uav industry the initiative is an investment in the future of the community the state indeed and the world our prime minister sri narendra modi ji planned to make india a global hub for drone development manufacturing through this center of excellence the students will gain on the job on the job real time exposure by undertaking projects internships under the guidance of israel experts and our faculty yesterday a thing happened sir we wanted to announce the gold medals but two students from electronics got the same mark even after the sixth decimal so how to decide so we went to chairman chairman declared both the gold medals for both the students actually that girl actually was very unhappy she was upset and uh, because the other thing is not only getting a 60000 worth of gold gold medalist name and they are receiving from your golden hands she is missing that she was act practically weeping so then honorable uh, governor of andhra pradesh uh, shri s abdul nazir um distinguished guests beloved staff and uh, students good morning everyone uh, today we gather here in vijayawada to mark the opening of the new R&D center the result of a joint venture between Diet College and Dronix Engineering the center is an outstanding establishment with an with an inspiring vision to endow technology our eyes are captivated by its design the equipment and the technology the technological uh, promise it bears however this center represent not only just space for innovation but a hub of human potential and collaboration prior to technology and innovation this center is based on three pillars at its core this center is about people the young minds who will come together to share their knowledge and ideas transform concepts into actual working solutions and the personal relationships that will drive progress and success the second is history this center is the continuation of the deep historical ties between india and israel dating back to the jewish community in india that has flourished for thousands of years while there may not be a jewish community in vijayawada itself but there is a small community located not far away in chebrolu and this serves for me as a reminder of the strong connections between our two nations now the presentation of gold medals by our honorable governor principal will read out the names and students will come one by one along with the parents kadandi
Ángeles. In mechanical engineering, first goes to Dasari Lila Nasimharo and parents Dasari Mohan. And Bit and Donda Magan. CSC first goes to Ade Navya and her parents Venkata Swami and Bhagya Sarada. In electrical and electronics engineering, gold medal goes to B. Durga Bhavanti Bajor students. And B.Tech in mechanical engineering, gold, gold medal goes to Bombadi Dayakar and his parents Venkateswar Rao and Arna Kumari. Gold medal goes to M. Anisha and her parents Srinivas and Sunita. and her parents Muktar Pasha goes to A. Sirisha and her parents Srinivasarao and Sunita. Thank you, sir. Our students are fortunate to have to see the medals with your hands and have photographs with the parents. It will be a lifelong memory for them. The chief guest of uh, today's uh, excellent program, His Excellency, Honorable Governor and also the Honorable Chancellor of uh, j and k Kakinada, Sir uh, Pranam Sir, and proud to say that uh, SAR has given approval for the conduct of uh, ninth convocation. Uh, it is uh, scheduled on uh, 31st of uh, May 2023 at JNDK Kakinada. I also congratulate uh, the medal winners and also another important uh, respected uh, honorable personality, the guest of honor. Sri Chalmeshwar Garu, the former uh, judge Supreme Court of India and uh, other personalities uh, who are sitting on the dais uh, from uh, the Nekila College and also the Dronex and uh, I'm happy to note uh, that uh, from the university side both uh, Dronex and uh, the Nekula stands for D are joined together to establish an excellent R&D center focused on the drone system which is very much required nowadays. Briefly about Jain to Kaginada. Honorable the Governor of Andhra Pradesh and my esteemed colleague Sri Abdul Nazir Ji, other dignitaries on and off the dais, and my dear students. Noah Harari wrote a beautiful book a few years back titled 21 Lessons for the 21st Century. In that book he says, by 2050, this world will change so much. For good or bad, I may not, most probably I will not be there by then. I would be 97 even if I were to live till that time. The world will change so much, it will be difficult for us to imagine how this world looks like by 2050. And the reason he says is this. The rapid advance that's being made in the areas of artificial intelligence and biotechnology will create innumerable changes in, on the planet and it will be 
just gives a few examples for the for the benefit of those who have not read that book i might tell you if somebody falls sick today we go to some doctor depending upon the nature of the sickness we go to a doctor if you want some problem with the eyes you go to the ophthalmologist if you have some problem with the ears you go to the ent doctor so on and so forth by 2050 this question of personally going to a doctor and a personal doctor examining doesn't arise you just feed the information if you are sick you put the information give the symptoms in your uh, telephone and this whole thing is processed by some kind of a centralized computer for the entire world of humanity and it will go to innumerable places of various branches and sub branches of uh, uh, doctors who are dealing with this problem and the whole thing is integrated the final report comes maybe by the evening and the information comes back just this is a very good example which uh, he gives many more examples like this now the all of us are waiting for our beloved honorable his excellency our governor now i want to just give i, I don't you don't need his uh, introduction but his place and education just i want to read out sir shri s abdul nazir garu anubal governor of andhra pradesh was born in 5 january 1958 at beluwai karnataka he studied law at shri dharmasthala manjunadeshwara law college mangalore shri jashish nazir enrolled as an advocate in february 83 he practiced for 20 years at karnataka high court and other courts in karnataka in 2003 he was appointed as additional judge of karnataka high court and next year he became the permanent judge and 17 february 2017 sir justice nazir was elevated to the supreme court after his retirement we are all aware he was appointed as our beloved governor of ap he is abhi is reading of the books now i request our his excellency honorable governor to address on this occasion honorable mr justice jasti no. chalameshwar no, no. former judge supreme court of india and if i may say so one of the finest legal minds we have in our country डॉक्टर जी बी आर प्रसाद राजू वाइस चांसलर जवाहरलाल नेहरू टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी काकीनाडा श्री नीर जेंडलर सीईओ ड्रॉनिक्स श्री डी रवींद्रनाथ टैगोर चेयरमैन धनेकुला इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी श्री डी के आर के रवि प्रसाद डायरेक्टर Danekula Institute of Engineering and Technology Shri D Venkatr Bhavani Prasad correspondent and secretary Danekula Institute of Engineering and Technology Shri Ravi Kadiala principal Danekula Institute of Engineering and Technology faculty members non teaching staff my dear students ladies and gentlemen members of print and electronic media i extend my warm greetings to you all it gives me immense pleasure to participate in today's program to inaugurate the dronix center of excellence and the drone research and development center and the 14th anniversary celebrations of danekula institute of engineering and technology and presentation of awards to meritorious students on the occasion india is making tremendous progress in the fields of manufacturing of electric vehicles digitized digitization artificial intelligence etc and is gradually discovering the usage of drones in various sectors initially used in defense photography and recording videos drones are now being used 
in food delivery, surveillance, geographical mapping, disaster management, search and rescue, agriculture and so on. The drone technology is an emerging field and the various applications for which the drone technology can be utilized to an optimum level are still being identified. There is a great need to enhance the skill set of students in drone technology, design, integration, calibration and testing of drone prototype models, troubleshooting of drone equipment, drone architecture models, demonstration and hands-on experience. Drone technology is growing at a faster rate and several agencies and startup ventures are working towards future research and development, prototyping and design testing. Therefore, setting up of drone research and development center by institutes like Danekula Institute of Engineering and Technology is essential for the students to become aware and get themselves equipped on all facts, facets of drone technology to enable them to pursue careers in this emerging sector. Dear students, here I would like to narrate an inspirational story of our beloved former President of India, Bharata Ratna, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. As a child, he loved watching birds fly. This motivated him to take up the interesting field of airspace and rockets professionally and work as an Indian aerospace scientist. During his college days at Madras Institute of Technology, Dr. Kalam tried his best to make an aeronautical design for aircraft in a lab class. But his teacher rejected the design and gave him three days to design it again in order to confirm the scholarship that he had received. Dr. Kalam worked incessantly and made it again. It was applauded as outstanding by the same teacher who made Dr. Kalam to face work pressure intentionally. This taught him that deadlines to do deadlines do not exist and teacher who focuses on student's progress is his best friend. On one occasion, holiday started and Dr. Kalam wanted to go home. He had to sell a book that he loved in, or, in order to get money and purchase a ticket to get back to his home. Instead of purchasing the book, the shopkeeper mortgaged it, lent money to Dr. Kalam and promised not to sell the book until he returned. This incident taught Dr. Kalam that kindness can be found among strangers also. His dream of being an Air Force pilot was lost by one rank. Dr. Kalam learned to accept failure and to move on and have faith on the larger plan of Almighty on his destiny. Later, while working at the Indian Space Research Organization at Tumba, Kerala, he observed the coexistence of a church on its campus. He was inspired by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, father of Indian Space Program, the brain behind establishment of ISRO, who convinced the church officials to hand over the same to scientists for a scientific experiment. Dr. Kalam was inspired by this incident as he came across a fine example where scientific and spiritual minds came together for a common cause. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai taught leadership traits to Dr. Kalam by setting examples and they both worked closely together. The lesson to be learnt is that 
leaders listen think creatively build team look beyond failures stand with the team and answer questions the indigenous development of slv3 taught dr kalam that research engineering science and technology are vital for a nation's development and commitment and persistent persistence matter at all costs the life and story of dr kalam popularly known as missile man of india always remains an inspiration to the students and young generation hence i would like to quote his advice to students i quote please listen to me carefully you cannot change your future but you can change your habits and surely your habits will change your future unquote let me repeat again you cannot change your future but you can change your habits and surely your habits will change your future my advice to the students is to make the best use of all the facilities and opportunities provided by the college and carve out a niche career for yourself in the emerging technologies be it drone technology artificial intelligence or machine learning currently india accounts for 22.5% of the total global drone imports although most drones are employed for military activities commercial drones are, are also getting popular the government of india is planning to make india a global drone hub by 2030 and expects total turnover of the drone manufacturing industry to reach 900 crores by 2024 as the government aims to make india a global drone hub by 2030 a total of 12 central ministries are involved in planning to boost indigenous demand for drone services it is projected to create demand for around 1 lakh drone pilots in upcoming years recently our honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji launched the drone mahotsav event to promote the drone manufacturing industry with a strong research and development and through continuous innovation indian firms can manufacture high quality drone drones by reducing dependence on imports and strengthening the atma nirbhar bharat initiatives of the government of india in our state the andhra pradesh drone corporation caters to the needs of agriculture and mining sectors the corporation also creates awareness on drone technology <coughs> to empower drone operators to develop the ecosystem for research and development and manufacturing startup ventures and innovation in the state i am confident that the international collaboration between dronics engineering limited israel and danekula institute of engineering and technology vijayawada will go a long way in creating job opportunities for students of the state in the niche area of drone technology on this auspicious occasion of inauguration of drone research and development center i congratulate the team behind this innovative initiative and appreciate collaboration between dronics engineering limited israel and danekula institute of engineering and technology vijayawada to establish the dronics center of excellence i congratulate all the students who have received the annual merit awards presented by the college i wish the drone research and development center of danekula institute of engineering and technology all the success thank you all jai hind you have appropriately told about sri abdul kalam ji the books written by